Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description. I do the premium problems on Patreon if you want to check that out. It's two bucks or you can join my Discord. Try to respond to everyone who messages me on that. Uh, we're going to be doing longest repeating character replacement today. It's a medium problem. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's pretty similar to max consecutive ones, which or max uh, whatever the repeating ones we just did last night. Given a string S that consists of only English uppercase letters, uppercase English letters, you can perform at most K operations on that string. Okay, so we get a string of, the string we're given is all uppercase English letters. Uh, we can only perform another, we get K as well, so we're getting an integer K, and we can perform K operations on the string. Okay. In one operation, you can choose any character of the string and change it to any other uppercase English character. I don't know why it's uppercase, but yeah, okay. So we can loop through. We have K operations we can do, and an operation involves we could change any of these letters to any other character. So we could change this A to capital Z, capital C, whatever capital letter we want, and we could do that twice to any characters. And what do we want to find then? Find the length of the longest substring containing all repeating letters you can get after performing the operations. Okay, so the longest substring containing only one letter. So only, you know, the, they all, the whole substring has to be consisting of the same letter. And it's the longest one in this. And we can do two changes to any letter. Okay, uh, we can do K changes to any letter. So we could change, in this case, we have, you know, A, B, A, B. So we could change A or A. We could change both of these A's to B's, and then they're all B's, so that would be 4. Or we could change both the B's to A's, and then it's all A's, and we could get 4 still. Let's look at one more example. Okay, in this case, it looks like A, A, B, A. So it looks like, yeah, we can't change, we only have one change this time, so we can't change both of these. So if we change one of these, it would just be two A's. If we change one of these, it would just be two A's. But if we change this to an A, we get four A's in a row. So that would be four again. Okay, great. Um, so I think I get it. I mean, it's really similar to that one where we just look for the max ones. The idea is basically, if you look at this, you know, you want to find a window where... I mean, it's just kind of obvious that it's a sliding window a little bit. It's not perfectly obvious when you look at it, but if you think about it, problems that want you to find a substring or a subarray with certain attributes, especially like repeating attributes, and then you like look at it and the math kind of comes out to like, you're looking at it and it's like, okay, I need to find something that it looks like this. It has, you know, K most changes. Like that's going to be just like looking at it. I kind of can tell. I've done enough of these sliding windows that I could tell it's a sliding window problem. So the sliding window, usually how you start out is you have the window is like nothing at first, and then you expand it with the second pointer. So let's just start building this out. We're going to make our window. Um, we're going to, let's just get the length of the string because we probably want that. Um, we're going to, let's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say window start is equal to zero. That's the window opening. So you have a window opening. And then we're going to loop with window end. So we'll say window end is equal to zero. Window end less than n, the length of the string. So we're looping through. And window end plus plus. So there you go. This is just looping through. What do we want to find? We want to find the subarray length, the maximum length of a subarray with only repeating characters. So we'll just call that whatever we want, max length. So this is what we're going to be returning. So... There we go. We already have a good setup for this problem. Now, how are we going to figure this out? Okay. So in a sliding window, you usually add characters on. And especially if we're looking for things that are the same, we're going to want to, you know, keep increasing when we have the same and we don't want to lose K. So yeah, what we're going to do is while K is one, while K or while K is greater than zero, you know, while that, while we're, we still have operations we can do, we'll keep adding things onto the window. And if we don't, we'll start popping things off of the window. You know, we we have an operation we can use. We have an operation we can use. We don't have an operation anymore, but we're still good to go as long as the next one's an A because we changed this to an A. We still, we don't have an operation. Now 
look at that. We don't, we're negative on operations, so we got to move our sliding window. But as long as we kept the maximum from earlier, the max length, you know, we're not going to see anything better, but we just move our sliding window and we keep track of the max length. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, a good way to keep track of the repeating characters in this case is using a char counts array, which is a common thing in string problems. So you have an int array, char counts, and you set it to 26, um, cause 26 letters in the alphabet. Each index of this array keeps track of the count of each character. So er index zero of this, this array is how many A's we have. Index two, index one is how many B's. Index two is how many C's. It keeps a count. And to put those in, we just do this. We're looping through the array, right? So we'll do this. We'll start adding things on to our uh, little subarray. So we'll say char counts. We'll say char counts. Char counts of uh, s dot char at window end because that's what we're looping through. We'll increment the count because we saw a new character. We're incrementing the count. Okay, great. Now we want to. Here's the main part. We want to keep track of as well a max count. This max count is going to keep track of the number of the repeating character that we're looking for because we need to pick a character that we want to be repeating. So we want the maximum out of the whole window, we want the character that's occurring the most, obviously. So we want to keep track of which one that is using max count um, and how long that is, how much of the array that is, so that we can check against K and make sure that we're not, you know, exceeding, making our window too big and um, we have the operations we need. So we'll just update max count each time. So max count, we'll just keep uh, math.max of um, the current max count and uh, the count of the character that we just saw and incremented, right? Obviously. So you can do whatever you want with this. This is just incrementing the index of the array. Uh, you actually have to do this. Sorry about that. You have to do this. So um, this gives you the index because this will be a character. So if you subtract uppercase A, that'll give you the correct index. So we actually have to do that here as well. And it might be easier for you to just say like current char count or something like that make a variable and just set it to this just to make it a little bit easier on yourselves and then it looks a little bit nicer maybe so there you go uh so you just check the current char count the current character that we're looking at against the max count and then that will tell us the mo the highest repeating character in the max count okay now to change our sliding window position we can do we could check the length of our sliding window so we could do if window end minus window start. So this is the length of our sliding window minus the max counts because max count is fine. We want all of them to be repeating. So minus max count. This right here, this little math right here, this gives us our window, our sliding window through the string with the number of characters that we have to change, correct? Because if it, this is the number of the same characters, this is the size of the window. So the window size minus the number of similar characters we have is the number of different characters. And that's how much we have to make sure that's not greater than K. If that's not great, and we're also going to be incrementing by one. So we have to add one because we're adding a new letter on through each loop, right? So we, added in, we just added a new letter on, so we're adding one. Now, if that is greater than K, then that means we don't have those operations. We're out of operations. So what we want to do in this case is, first of all, we don't want to increment this. We're going to say, we no, no, no. We want to pop a character off the front of our window, right? Like sliding window works, you always add characters onto the end. You pop them off the front when you don't want them anymore. So we'll do this little thing, except we're doing from the front of it. Right, and this should make sense to you guys. This one's a little more advanced. I'd say watch the max consecutive ones, uh, sliding window one before. This one's a little bit harder than that one, but still similar. So you decrement the front count because it's like, okay, we don't, we'll pop a character off the front now, right? Like I said, you're you're going through the, you're going through the string. Maybe like in this string, you're like, okay, I can change two characters. So I see an A, I see a B. Okay, so I have to change one for sure. Now I see another A. We're good. Now I see a B. Okay, now I have to check this. 
actually in this case that was a bad case because you just changed both of them but in this i'm not re i'm not gonna edit this because i messed up one time but all right you know what i mean like when you see a a like i already did this example though i don't have any other examples sorry okay window start plus plus i'm sorry dude i don't want to redo the video or anything just because i messed up okay but you know what i mean the window is moving along the string this math, I think I explained to you, you're adding a character on the end each time. If you don't, this gives you the number of different characters. If that's more than K, you got to change those to be the same character. So you got to pop off the front and you increment the front of it. You move the indices along and you get the max length. You just check against the max length each time is equal to math.max each time between the max length right now, which is zero, but as it goes through, it'll increment and the window size. So window and minus window start plus one because you added one on. Okay, there we go. That's it. I mean, you guys can be, um, you know, I don't know. I thought, I feel like I explained it as good as I can. I mean, it's hard. This is hard to explain. Like it's a sliding window. Like look them up. They're kind of straightforward. Like, you know, I mean, that's it. Like, um, I think I explained everything. Like, t let me know if I didn't explain anything, but. I don't know what else to explain, right? I wish I could do more examples, but I didn't make any up. So thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if I this sucked. It felt kind of bad, but I now I'm looking at it. I'm like, I don't know what else to explain, but let me know. I mean, all right. So insecure. All right, let's see. All right, bye.